Hey everybody, uh, thanks so much for signing up for Eight Dates. We're so excited to do this journey with it, with you and so honored uh, that you would wanna be a part of this. So uh, here's how to make the most of your Eight Dates experience as we go along. So you do have a little prep work to do before the course starts in early January. You need to sit down with your spouse and a calendar and block in your dates. Um, Find a day that works for you. It can be a, a, a lunch date, an evening date, an after the kids go to bed date, but block them in the calendar now. Absolutely. Uh, and also, uh, don't spend a lot of money on this. Uh, let your time be the precious commodity you share. Block in a couple hours of time uh, each date. Right? Yeah. And if you have young kids, this is a particularly tough time to date your spouse because babysitters, it's not like an easy thing to do anymore. Um, so something that we found helpful, especially when our kids were really young, is um, to do what we called a late date. Yep. And we would feed the kids early and then put them to bed early that night um, and tell them that mom and dad are having a date night tonight and you have to go to sleep by yourselves now. And it took a couple of weeks, but especially with that weekly rhythm, they pick up on it pretty quick. And now, oh, it's mom and dad's date night. I guess we just got to go to sleep. Yep. So. They figure it out eventually. <laughs> eventually. eventually. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, then uh, through this journey, you're going to read a little. Uh, so the chapters are relatively short and they're really rich with a lot of good stuff. Uh, there's also a speed summary at the end of the chapter if you're really tight on time. And so uh, do the pre-work. It'll get you in the right headspace, heart space to do the date. You're going to read a little, but you're going to talk a lot. Relationships are built on conversation. Totally. And then you're going to drink little or not at all, um, because really the goal here is to be fully present uh, for this other person, right? And uh, alcohol can sometimes escalate things in unhelpful ways, and you don't want that. Right. And then keep a sense of humor. This should be really fun. Yeah. There are going to be exercises that feel dorky or awkward, or, and that's fine. Laugh a little bit about it, have some fun, um, and enjoy this time with your spouse. Absolutely. Uh, so we're going to be sending you some notes and videos all along the way each week uh, to lead you into that date. That's going to start on Saturdays. Look for it uh, as it comes in and it'll tee you up. Yep. And then each date will have a, an element of planning and preparation. And one spouse will take the lead on that planning um, and it'll alternate weeks. So you can decide which weeks you're, you're leading the date. Totally. And then just enjoy the time together. Uh, it's a great opportunity, right? Yep. And then if you signed up to be in a Zoom couples group, um, you'll be receiving contact from your facilitator um, closer to the start. And just enjoy that time um, talking with other couples in all different stages of their relationship. It should be just a wonderful chance to, um, to just talk about what's going on. Encourage one another mm -hmm. along the way. So, uh, yeah, we're so excited to do this journey with you. Can't wait uh, for kind of the end of February and this sense of being able to celebrate the journey that we've been on. And I just pray that uh, God's blessings on uh, just all the time that you invest into this along the way and the connections you make. So, peace, everybody. Peace.